the day of engineers and i created a small post on linkedin talking about how i got into engineering my journey so far the learning that i had i'm attaching its link in the description below do check this out and let me know your story as well now let's get back to lead code and today's lead code problem is find original array from doubled array here in this question we are given an original array and it is transformed into changed array by adding twice the value of every element present in the original array and then reshuffling it up so we have an original array we create another array named as changed array and how is changed array created we basically double each and every element that is present in the original array and sh shuffle it up what do we need to do we are given the changed array we need to return the original array we will be going through the examples as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it uh, here i've taken the first example as the elements 1 3 4 2 6 8 what do we need to do we need to identify the original array and the original array would be 1 3 and 4 now comes the concern how can we algorithmize this up so the first and the foremost thing that i'm going to do is to identify the frequency of each and every element that exists in my input array so what is it let's update the frequency of 1 to 1 3 to 1 4 to 1 2 to 1 6 to 1 8 to 1 and what do i do next i start the iteration starting from the 0th index going up till um, the num all the numbers that i have and what is the first element that i have the first element that i have happens to be 1 where i see non-zero frequency and since i see a non-zero frequency then what do i do i check what is the frequency of double its element what is the frequency of double its element it happens to be 1 what do i do next i simply reduce the frequency of both these elements so these the frequency of these two elements get reduced by 1 and the updated frequency is 0 0 now let's proceed ahead the next element that i see happens to be 2 its frequency is 0 let's proceed ahead next element that i see is 3 what is the frequency of 3 it's 1 since it's greater than 0 what do i do i double this element up what do i get i get 6 so i jump onto 6 i check what is the frequency of 6 it's 1 again since it's 1 what do i do i reduce the frequency of both these elements so the frequency of these two elements get reduced by 1 and the updated frequency turns out to be 0 for both of them so far how many uh, elements have you identified in the original array the first one was 1 so 1 gets added and the next one is 3 3 gets started let's proceed ahead next element that i see happens to be 4 4 has a non zero frequency what do we do we double the value of 4 what where do we get go we go at 8 what is the frequency of 8 the frequency of 8 is 1 since both of them are greater than 0 we simply reduce their frequencies by 1 so this gets updated to 0 this also gets updated to 0 and uh, 4 gets added as part of the original array let's proceed ahead next we see is 5 frequency is 0 6 0 7 0 8 0 and so far more elements can be present in the input array and hence uh, this loop will go up till the maximum number of limit that is supported which is 10 raised to power 5 and we are done with the iteration uh, what is the original array that we have the original array that we have is 1 3 and moving ahead let's walk through a few more test cases and here the elements are 1 3 3 2 6 8 the first thing that i'm going to do is to create a frequency map the frequency of 1 is 1 the frequency of 2 is 1 the frequency of 3 is 1 the frequency of 6 is 1 the frequency of 8 is 1 and what do i do let's start the iteration starting from the previous index and as soon as i see a non-zero frequency which here comes as 1 i simply double the value i go to 2 and i check its frequency the frequency of 2 is 1 and since both of them are positive in nature i simply reduce their values by 1 1 each the frequency gets updated to 0 the frequency gets updated to 0 let's proceed ahead the next element that i see happens to be 3 and 3 has a frequency 3 what do i do i double the value i go to 6 i check what is its frequency the frequency happens to be 1 uh, i i have to reduce 3 3 times when i do re the reduction uh, the frequency of 3 gets reduced to 0 however the frequency of 6 gets reduced to minus 2 since it goes beyond 0 in negative there is no configuration possible and original array can't be generated what we should be doing in such cases we should be returning an empty array which is the expected result for such type of test cases so remember as soon as you see that the value goes in negative you have to abort the process and return an empty array in those cases as soon as the frequency goes in negative walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i just talked before the first and the foremost thing that i've done is to check the length of my change array in case it is odd in nature then it's not possible to generate the original array 
because the elements are odd and it's not possible to have the original array for such kind of an input array uh, let's consider a case where the input array is given to us as 1 3 and 6 then you can't generate the original array because there is some misconfiguration uh, the number of elements in my changed array can't be odd in nature or in all such cases i should return an empty array moving ahead i have created an el an element mid which is equal to uh, change length by 2 and i created an answer variable for actually storing my answer because it it's going to have these many elements as my answer i created a frequency map uh, because in the question uh, it is given that the numbers could lie from 0 up to 10 raised to power 5 and hence as a result uh, the size of this frequency map is 10 raised to power 5 plus 1 I go ahead and create the frequency map appropriately. I start the iteration on number 0, I go up till the length of my frequency map. I check if my frequency of number is greater than 0 and my frequency of number into 2 is also greater than 0 and it is well within the limits. Uh, what do I do? I simply reduce the frequency by 1 1 each and in case my frequency goes in negative, I abort the process and return an empty array there and then itself. Otherwise I append number as part of my answer string answer array and uh, with each iteration uh, i simply update my next index to be filled as part of my answer array and once we are done with this for loop what do i check i check if there is any such frequency in my frequency map which is not equal to zero if that is the case uh, then derivation of the original array is not possible and we simply return an empty array in those cases if this uh, condition is not met what do i do i simply return the answer array back so let's try this up accepted 90% faster which is pretty good i hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed today's session if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel your subscription truly means a lot to me and if you want to see more of it please guys subscribe to it happy engineers day to all of you take care